Tony Francetta, I'm the state president for the Alliance for Retired Americans in Florida. We have about 216,000 members and about 4 million members nationwide. We are a senior organization that Lyndon Baines Johnson, when he was president, gave credit to for Medicare when it was signed into law in 1965. There are those running for office now that will try to do away with Medicare as we know it. This is also an anniversary, the second anniversary for the Affordable Care Act. The Affordable Care Act is important to Medicare. They're integral, a part of each other. It's also another anniversary. In 2003, on this same date, President Bush took us to war in Iraq. Over 4,000 young people have died as a result of that war. Also, those same people that supported going to war now are against providing health care and Medicare for those young men, many of which gave their lives to sacrifice for this country. We cannot stand idly by and not be a part of preserving the legacy that we have created. My generation created the legacy of Social Security and Medicare. We will preserve it for those that are 55 and under. The choice has never been so clear. The congressman here, there's one thing I see, a big for rent sign over there, and then Connie Mack's name on the building. Connie Mack is for rent, but he's been bought by the 1%. We are the 99%. We're not going to stand idly by. When it comes time to vote, they will see who has the most members, the 1% or the yes, I'm out here today because I, I believe that the Health Care Act is what America needs now, more than ever. With the price of health care going the way it is, and the cost of real insurance, if people would just stop and look and think, they would know that this is what they need for going forward in the future. Turn down the California part-time, Florida part-time resident. I'm not sure California. where he lives. His interest may not be in Florida, but he's interested in California. That's why he spends so much time there. So we want someone that will continue to try to help the Floridians in Florida with their health care, with their Medicare, with their Social Security. And most of all, we need to preserve the Affordable <laughs> Care Act. percent of us. And with that, we will march on the victory this year. The victory will be in